really shaking on them. All right, here we go with another garden update. First of all, it's uh, a little cloudy, kind of sprinkling right now a little bit. Um, but it's uh, enjoyable, relaxing. Humidity has been really high lately. We were up 90, what? 90 something the other day? 92, 93, something like that. And humidity at 77, it was miserable. Anyways, the garden's looking good. I've been, I've been busy with other stuff, so I haven't been keeping up with my with my reviews of my updates on these. Get this out of the way. Anyways, the echinaceas about to bloom there. Let's see this there. It's that red one right there. Yeah, it's dirty. Here we go. The orange mm. cactus um, that, like a drag. that is a coral cactus, and I don't remember what that one is, the orange one. They're, oh, <laughs> things right there. Let me see. It just says a craft, oh, a grafted cactus. Oh, wow. That's all it says. And then the other one is a coral cactus. And that's, I, I like them both, but the coral cactus, I think, is really, really cool looking. And uh, they're doing well out here. Uh, just bought that. Uh, two days ago, got them planted. The hibiscus tree, I think, is finally dead. There's a, it's, I brought it out here with the massive leaves. And three weeks later, I was picking off all the dead leaves. Uh, there's still, Still some dead ones here. Oh, dead ones here, like here and here. And they're just now, two months later, getting leaves at the bottom. And I know I saw a leaf somewhere. Oh, there. They're starting to get a little bit of green on here. So hopefully by October, we might have about eight or nine leaves on this thing. Who knows? But. Someone told me just to cut it all the way back as far as I possibly can and then just let it grow out again. See if it will do anything. It hasn't bloomed in three years and that one year it got one bloom and nothing ever came back. I remember when I first got it, I'd get 30, 40 blooms a year on them. Bring it in in the winter and it bloom all winter. And uh, this one year it just stopped. So anyways, I've got some Things started by seed here. That cactus is doing good. Big ones, big leaves here. I like the color. Those are vibrant still. Although it's going to look pretty dwarfed compared to this monster here. But then I've got these, oops, these right behind them. So we'll have similar colors. In the fall, this will be a similar color to those three, so oh, I just like it. Look, buds are happening. Buds are happening. I'm happy, happy, happy about that. I have Love Lies Bleeding all over this yard. I bet you I've got a thousand Love Lies Bleeding everywhere. I'll show you. I got them right here. There 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 over there over here there a few of them quite a few of them um more there. I don't see too many on this side, but they're all over the front yard. And not just in the garden area. 
Look, a lot of these starting. There's about a dozen on this one here. I haven't seen any on this one yet. Yet. But I'm sure they will. Looking good. So then we have Love Lies Bleeding here. All of this. All of these. Here. Here. All of these. All of these. It goes all the way. There's a bunch down here. Um, it's just amazing. I bet you I've pulled at least 500 of these little damn things. So when I move out, <laughs> I know what I'm going to do that. <laughs> you should start laughing too. So, but anyway, they're everywhere. They're in the lawn and everything. I don't know how that happened. And actually, I don't care. So anyways, that's the garden update. Uh, and again, we got the cilantro growing like crazy. The cilantro I didn't plant. So instead of cutting them back or just, you know, letting them do whatever, I actually moved these little fences to hold back the hosta leaves. And these are growing quite well. I'm happy with them. Very happy with them. Well, this here? Yeah. The black ones? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, I, I think it's like an impatience. Cool looking one. I think, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, it's really starting to misty. And uh, here's a, a lot more cilantro. Again, I have no idea how they got here, but I'm going to use them. And I've already had to start tying back the Russian sage. Look how big it is. Love it, love it, love it. So, we've got, I think this one, a little vine thing growing there. So, that's the garden update. Oh yeah, boom, first boom. Happy, happy, happy. Love it. That will be open. These ones will be opening. So I think I'm going to uh, cut this back. Now, I don't move it somewhere in the yard, but this will be the third time I've cut this one back. And I might have to cut that one back over there also. Maybe I'll put them, maybe I'll put them on the boulevard. Put them along there. On the corner? Yeah, in between that, where they dug up this tree and this uh, little chunk, chunk or piece together sidewalk. Try to make it look a little better. So, I don't know what happened, but the cops were all over that house the other day. They had, yeah, they had uh, cops on this side, in front of the white apartment complex. They had a black cop over, a black cop car, um, squad car on this corner. They had a white one in front of here, and they had two in back of it. We weren't quite sure where exactly who they were exactly. looking for, but the, finally, they came out of the house with... One person, they just stood around and talked, and uh, so I tucked my head back in the house, and I looked back out, they're all gone, so. But anyway, here's Linus, he's, he's having a rough day, I just actually had to help him. I actually had to help him get up on his feet today, he's, uh, he's had a rough night. Anyway, we're gonna go and brush him now, look at all this. Look at all this, buddy. Say hi. Hmm? Yeah, it does. Hmm? It does. I am I'm eventually gonna get on it and go down to the park and and uh, get some video of you know the ride down there, but I just can't leave Linus right now. And that's his favorite thing to do. So. Anyways, so we gotta go brush him, so 
I hope everyone's having a great day. It's our Pablo weekend I was going to go today, but we had a family member murdered last night. Um, someone who actually lived in that apartment right there next door to me for a couple years. Uh, we were close. Um, her boyfriend killed her. Um, domestic violence, something I've been trying to get her to leave and get out of. And uh, now it's too late. And uh, it was a, it's been a rough night, so I'm too tired to go out there. I'm just gonna put around here, and work on my work on my house, and eventually get my living room painted, do whatever. So, but I am going to, in the mist, sit out here and enjoy my margarita with my buddy Linus and some friends. So, have a good day.